The first week of the Taj Ross murder trial in Cedar Rapids is now over. He is charged with intentionally killing 19-year-old Latasha Roundtree as she was riding to a party in September of 2012. For four days this week, prosecutors brought compelling testimony and powerful video. Fox 28 News reporter Jason Hackett has been in the courtroom from the beginning and has a summary of the trial so far. Day one of the Taj Ross trial started with chilling sounds, the last moments of Latasha Roundtree's life, recorded by a neighbor's surveillance system. What happened next? Um, Neil started to scream, go. Haley McConnell was driving the car the night Latasha was killed. What happened when you ran into the house? Um, I just was screaming and she shot in her head and then I fell to the floor. Day two actually brought video of that heartbreaking moment. McConnell falling to her hands and knees as doctors and nurses scramble to save her friend. We also heard from Alexis Omar, who says she was at the party with Ross and the four co-defendants that night. I remember at some point later in the night that somebody said that they're going to shoot up the house. The defense questioned Omar, saying a deposition she gave previously didn't match her testimony that day. But Omar says the core pieces of her story never changed. What is it that you said differently today? Do you even know? There was things that I couldn't remember then that I didn't remember now. Then it was day three, and co-defendant Adrian Kenny's turn on the stand. Oh, I didn't know what, what, about the, what was about to go down. He accepted a plea deal for his role in the crime and agreed to testify against Ross. He recalls fellow co-defendant Yasin Muhideen reaching for the 40 caliber pistol allegedly used to kill Roundtree and Ross snatching it away. Tom was like, no bitch, no, you know, you're too, too little for it. He says he saw Ross shoot towards Roundtree's car. Taj said, I think I, I think I killed him. Then day four, the experts took the stand confirming the bullet found on Latasha came from the gun found on scene. As for the DNA on the gun itself... Whose DNA did you find on the firearm? Uh, the profile that was developed in this case was uh, Yasin Lee. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Jason Hackett, Fox 28 News. Next week, the three remaining co-defendants and the medical examiner are set to testify. We'll be in the courtroom as well.